Your QA program relies on your reviewers being aligned with their grading. If your reviewers score the same conversation differently, then this can lead to an inconsistent stream of feedback heading your agent's way. To overcome this, you should be holding regular calibration sessions with your reviewers. Klaus's calibration feature makes it easy. Let's check it out. Workspace managers can enable the calibration feature from the workspace settings under calibration. Once enabled, you can set up the visibility settings. You can choose to let your reviewers only see their own reviews within a calibration session. Keep in mind, however, that when you are meeting to discuss the calibration, they will not be able to see how others have scored. Or you can let your reviewers see how others have reviewed the ticket, but only after they have left their own review to avoid any grading bias. For workspace managers, you can choose between letting them see how others have reviewed after submitting their own score, or you can allow them to see all of the reviews at any time. To create a calibration session, head to your main conversation tab and click the plus button next to the calibration section in your filter menu. Give your calibration session a name. If you hold monthly calibrations, then naming it by the month can help keep things organized. Set the due date for when you want all of your reviewers to complete their calibration reviews and create the session. Now it's time to decide which conversations to grade as part of your calibration session. We recommend using some filters. Unreviewed conversations that are more complex may be the more interesting cases to align on. Once you have found the perfect conversations, simply click the target icon to add it to your calibration session. Add as many conversations as you like, and you are now ready for your reviewers to calibrate. Let's now take a look at the process from your reviewer's point of view. Your reviewers will find the calibrations in the main filter panel of the conversation menu. They can review each case as they usually would. Notice how the other reviewers' scores appear after we have left our own review. This is due to the visibility setting we discussed earlier, aimed to help remove bias in your grading. Once your reviewers have completed all of the cases, you're ready to hold a meeting to discuss the results. By going through each case, you'll be able to see if there are any discrepancies in the reviews. If you find some, it's time to open up a discussion and come to an agreement on how it should be scored. Once you have discussed and agreed upon the correct scoring for the whole ticket, the workspace manager can select a review to be the baseline score. This is what you agreed to be the correct score for the ticket. The baseline score can either be an existing review or the Workspace Manager can add the baseline score themselves. Once all tickets have been discussed and the baseline submitted, you'll be able to see your results on the calibration dashboard. The dashboard displays a side-by-side -side comparison of your reviewers' scores compared to the baseline. Here, you can identify which reviewers are misaligned and who may need some extra help in understanding your scorecard. For example, we can see that Weasley's reviews were more closely aligned to the baseline than Kitty's. Kitty only scored 63% in total for this ticket, compared to the baseline score of 100%. This indicates that she may need a helping hand in aligning with the scorecard. Finally, you'll be able to keep track of your reviewer's alignment over time by filtering for past calibration sessions. That's a wrap on our calibration feature for more on this and other topics around setting up your QA program, check in our first ever QA course, setting up the perfect customer service review program. And check out our channel for more videos on how to make the most out of Klaus.